Hey, Michael here with Success for Others, and this week we're just going to keep this really short, keep it really sweet. I want to, I want to ask you a question. What's your story? I mean, what is your story? What's the deal? Why do you work where you work? Why do you do what you do? I mean, have you ever answered those questions? I mean, and not just generic. Well, I, I work here because I really, you know, like the people that I work with, and you know, my boss is really cool, and you know, the company's pretty awesome. I mean, seriously. What is it specifically about your company, about your boss, about your coworkers, about your job description, about your job duties that you really, really love? Because let's face it, you can work anywhere you want to work. I mean, in our industry, the HVAC industry, people are hiring all the time. I mean, I can go down the street and get a job with XYZ heating and air conditioning, or I can get a job with ABC heating and air conditioning. I mean, I'm a certified professional. I can go get a job anywhere that I wanted to get a job. And so could you. So why don't you? What is it? What is it that keeps you where you are? Why have you been with the company you're with for a year, for two years, for five years, for 10 years? Answer that question. I mean, seriously, take a couple of minutes. Pull out a piece of paper and, and just brainstorm. Ask yourself the question, why do I work here? Why am I still here? And write down your answers. And then ask yourself the next level of questions, why? Keep asking yourself that question, why? And what you're going to end up with when you're done is your story. Now, your story is super, super important. Why you do what you do, why you work where you work, why it is that you're uh, where you are in life is very, very important. And it's a story that you should be sharing with each and every one of your customers. Your customers should understand and should know your story. So I have to ask again, what is your story? Do you have a story? If you do have a story, is it an accurate description of exactly why your customers should do business with you and your company? See, because that's what your story really does, doesn't it? I mean, when you tell people exactly why you're doing what you're doing, why you're doing it for the company you're doing it for, and how you benefit as well as how other people benefit and why you've made this decision to stick with it for as long as you have, that builds confidence. That, that instills trust in people. People want to do business with people who have solid values. So define your story this week. Continue to ask yourself that one awesome, powerful question that we were taught from the time we were this big not to ask. Why? Keep asking it again and again and again and keep defining it and come up with your story. Once you have your story, commit to telling every single one of your customers what your story is. I mean, you walk into the house, you introduce yourself, you're building rapport, you're breaking bread, you're doing, you know, you're doing all this stuff. And then at that point, at some point in time, there's going to be an opening, there's going to be an opportunity for you to just tell somebody why it is that you do what you do, why you work where you work, how awesome it is, how great the people are, how wonderful the owners are, how wonderful the coworkers are, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But work on your story because if you tell that story, that only helps build that trust. That only helps build that confidence in each one of your customers that they made the right decision by calling your company and having you walk into their front door today. So this week's homework is really, really simple. Focus on building your story and then practice your story. Because without practice, you don't own it. So what is your story? Why do you work where you work? Why do you do what you do? How does it have a positive impact on people? Why do you love it? Come up with your story. Why don't you go down the street and work for XYZ or ABC Heating and Cooling? Why is it that you're still here for the X amount of years? Come up with that story, write it down if you need to, and then practice that story, and then commit each and every day to sharing that story with each one of your customers. If you do that, you will notice a difference in the relationship and in the trust of every single call that you run. And at that point, you have no option but to be more successful and that's really what we want isn't it for you to succeed for your customers to succeed for your company to succeed for everybody's quality of life to be increased so that's our goal here at success for others is to help each person that we come in contact with improve the quality of their life as well as their customers lives and if you focus on your story and you own it you'll do just that so have a great week and again thank you so much for tuning in